thank you for joining me today and another element of the ASMR Minecraft Fusion so just looking around we've done the digestive system and the skeletal system I think today we are going to explore the body organs portion Let's have a look where it takes us. Okay, so we're in a room. Looking on the walls, we have images of different organs from the human body. It looks like we have to click on a button to explore that particular organ. So let's start left to right. Have a little look at the brain. image of the human brain there. Press this button to start the movie and look up. So that's obviously showing signals from the brain and the spine. So chemical messages. Uh, we have the human brain there possibly. So as you know, the brain is made of four lobes, the frontal lobe, the parietal lobe, the temporal lobe, and the most interesting to me is the occipital lobe, which contains the visual cortex, which receives and processes visual information from the eyes. So the brain is the control room of the body. So let's make our way out and go to the next organ. Okay, so next up disorientated we have the lungs let's explore the lungs okay so there is the image of the lungs so you have the right lung and the left lung there you have the trachea where the gases travel in and out we have the right bronchus there and the left bronchus and the gases that come in travel through bronchioles in the lungs to the alveoli where the gas is exchanged and enters the bloodstream so the lungs are associated with breathing have a part to play in respiration. Let's have a look. Ah, so there's a better model of the lungs. Windpipe bronchioles. There is the lung sac. And inside you have the bronchioles and alveoli for gaseous exchange. So our body takes in and uses oxygen and exhales carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. Okay. Well, that's a quick overview of the lungs. Go back to the lobby and have a look at the human heart. So as you all know, the human heart is basically a pump for pumping blood around the body. The blood contains the oxygen and the nutrients all our cells require to function. So it can take deoxygenated blood to the lungs. So just looking at the heart 
that here. We have somewhere, we have the aorta, the pulmonary artery, and the superior vena cava somewhere around there. Let's go to the... Yes, so... There are the vessels and valves at the top, including the ones I've just mentioned. And the heart has four chambers, two atria and two ventricles, and separating the chambers are valves to, be, to prevent blood from en uh, entering or not entering the chambers when necessary. That is the heart there. A very simple but very effective organ. It's your heart radio model now, thank you. Okay, we'll return to the lobby. Okay. Ah, so one of the most interesting organs to me is the liver due to its multifunctional purposes. So we have the liver there, likely one of the ducts, and maybe the gallbladder there, and possibly an hepatic artery there. Okay, so let's have a look at the full size model here. The liver, so the ducts, gallbladder, arteries and the liver itself which is located on your right side I believe just below the diaphragm and the interesting part or roles that the functions the liver plays is storage and synthesis for example it can synthesize and store glycogen from glucose and if the glucose in your body is running low, then the glycogen can be broken down into glucose, which then enters the bloodstream. The liver also plays a role in digestion, producing bile, which then plays a role in the breakdown emulsification of fats. The liver is also associated with breakdown of certain products and detoxification of certain harmful chemicals. Okay, so that is the liver. Just have a little look, press the button, see what happens. Interesting. Go back to the lobby. Let's see what we have next. Ah, the kidneys. So as you know, we have two kidneys. Right and left side, approximately the size of a closed fist. And with the kidneys, you have the renal artery and the renal veins supplying and taking the blood away and the yellowish tube there that is called the ureter the one on either side which takes urine to the bladder and let's go and have a little look at the kidneys okay so we have blood coming in and supplying the kidneys. Ah, so that's probably showing how the blood is cleansed, cleaned by the kidneys, and the blood's coming in, enters the kidneys, and it looks like we have water and any other chemicals the kidneys release, such as urea. Okay, 
Saddler, Saddler. You have the renal arteries and veins there. Let's go to the other side. That's the renal artery in red. And the renal vein. So the kidneys filter the blood. Inside the kidney, you have the medulla and the cortex. And filtering the blood, you have absorption, reabsorption, filtration going on. See what we have next. Okay, the stomach. So we've covered the stomach before in the digestive system video. So the stomach plays a role in digestion, pummeling the food, breaking it down, producing uh, acid. Uh, but the breakdown too. We have the valves there, and there. The food comes down. The esophagus broken down in the stomach, and then the tube there leads to the small intestine. Let's have a little look at the screen. your food being broken down into smaller molecules and then making its way along the digestive system okay so what do we have next the large intestine so this is where waste travels through the system exits the body. You also have water being reabsorbed and further breakdown of food. Let's have a look at the large intestine which kind of looks like a question mark here. It's very interesting. So let's go to the next station. small intestine where lots of absorption of nutrients takes place to the villi and the microvilli the broken down food enters from the stomach it's further broken down absorbed into the bloodstream we also have the input of further enzymes of bile coming in and lipase. Okay, so there is the small intestine, a very long complex organ. Okay, so just moving on to the urinary bladder. So there's are the ureters from the kidneys. This is where we release liquids from our body. So there is the waste products coming from the ureters into the bladder ready for you to do a wee wee. And there is the model So I think we have the ureters, urethra, I believe. Okay. And moving on to, I think, is the final pit stop, is the spine. Have a little look at the spine. This 
obviously have um, uh, messages travelling along the nervous portion of the spine is it formed of bones discs which are labelled and you have your matter between the bones where the messages can travel to the body and back up to the brain chemical information for processing and responding to uh, so here's the spine, pelvis at the bottom of your grey matter and the bony portions of the spine excellent Looks like this concludes our tour of the body organs. Let's go back to the lobby and just have a little look at where we were. Got the body organs too. So hopefully next time we can go on an anatomy ride to further learn and discover the human body but also help you relax, tingle and sleep. So this is SRP, signing off, see you next time.